Hello everyone. Today we are going to be looking at CEI Camber Energy. Uh, the question we're going to answer is, will CEI get delisted? We know the filing deadline is coming up May 20th, 2022, a little over a week away. Um, so if you're a current CEI investor, this is something uh, you obviously want to know because we don't want to see CEI get delisted. So what I'm going to do is just walk through this uh, briefly. Shouldn't take too long, uh, and then we'll jump over and see how CI is performing um, over the last little while. So will CI stock get delisted? Um, so we know that they are facing a potential delisting. Uh, this is something that they've faced for for a while now, and they've continued to be able to push out for an extension uh, because right now their financials are a mess with the recent acquisition of Viking as well as the previous management team uh, leaving it in a mess. So uh, it takes a bit of time, you know, to put these things together. Um, so it's something that uh, that will just take uh, a bit of time. Unfortunately, uh, the deadline is just around the corner. So for those of you who are unfamiliar, uh, let's talk a little bit about the kind of delisting process. So for the Amex, which is the exchange that uh, CI is listed on, um, a listed company's shares get delisted from exchange for various reasons. Uh, so insufficient market capitalization, company filing bankruptcy, failure to comply with exchange regulatory requirements. So they explicitly state if your stock falls below $1 a share or you don't file your corporate financial documents timely, your stock could be delisted. So this is really the, the main one that CI is, is, um, is dealing with. Also, um, when Amex contacts you about delisting, you have 45 days to, days to file a plan to show how to correct the problem. And I believe that we can check the, the AK filing, but uh, there was a previous deadline uh, at the, I believe it was beginning of April, um, that CI had to submit their 10K filings. They did not um meet that deadline so they filed for an extension which brings us to the may 20th so there are really two main hurdles that ci faces first is the stock price uh so recently trading around 60 cents a share uh, was above a dollar a share but we know that if the stock remains below a dollar a share they could potentially be delisted for this reason the second is filing requirements so ci needs to submit their 10k their annual report to be compliant with the exchange's requirements so these are kind of the two main hurdles uh, CI faces. So talking about the actual uh, deadline itself, uh, like I mentioned, so the company intended to file um, file the, the filings before April 1st. However, they said, you know, due to certain circumstances, we're unable to meet this deadline. So the exchange accepted the company's request and pushed the deadline to May 20th, 2022, which is the date coming up. They then go on to state, uh, if the company is unable to cure the delinquency by May 20th, 2022, the exchange staff will initiate the delisting proceedings. Uh, but it also notes that the company may appeal a staff delisting determination. So really, let's say, you know, worst case scenario, they can't meet this deadline. They can then go back to the exchange and say, you know, here is our our plan, we're appealing this uh, delisting, and here's our plan moving forward to, to remedy the issue. So the big question, um, will Camber Energy be delisted if they don't meet? So it seems to be likely they'd be delisted, but there are a number of steps um, that they could take in order to prevent the delisting. So scenario one, CI files 10K before the deadline. In this scenario, um, so they meet the filing deadline, Great, so they're compliant with the regulatory requirements that the exchange has, uh, but the problem is they still face the issue of $1 per share. Now, a lot of people are saying that once the 10K finally comes in, stock price will pop, it'll jump. Um, I think that it will likely be the case. The question is, will it jump more than a dollar per share? Um, and can CI maintain that dollar per share um, to remain on the exchange? The second scenario, CI misses the May 20th, 2022 filing deadline. Uh, so if they don't file the 10K before May 2022, the listing process would begin. CMI, CI management team would have 45 days to show the exchange that they have a plan to remedy the situation. So it's not like on May 20th, 2022, they automatically just get delisted. Shares move to the OTC. But uh, they really have about 45 
they have 45 days uh, to come up with a plan and show them, uh, show the exchange that they will be able to address it. So will CEI get delisted? Um, it really, it like I said, there's a there's a few scenarios that are playing out. There's a number of factors. Um, I feel like they won't get delisted, at least in the the near term. Um, but the one thing that is, I guess, a bit concerning, which is rightfully pointed out, is the length of time it's taken uh, the CI management team to put the filings together. Um, you know, obviously it's a mess, uh, but it's been something they've been working on for a number of months. They should be able to uh, remedy the the situation. I think the exchange will only give you, you know, so many extensions and appeals uh, before they're finally just kind of fed up. So we'll have to wait until May twentieth to see, you know, if scenario one or two plays out. Um, if they do file before the deadline, that's great. Uh, but then there's still the the issue of maintaining a, a share price of uh, greater than a dollar per share to remain on the deadline. Hopefully you guys found this useful. Um, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Happy to answer them. Uh, if there's anything else you want to see about CEI, just let me know. Thanks.